accordion pleats. By the dictionary definition, it is one of a series of narrow, evenly spaced out parallel pleats. The Lema name for accordion pleats is a knife pleat, where the pleats are folded in the same direction, but just more integrate. The pleats are pressed into the fabric rather than folding the fabric and sewing the pleats into place. For this very reason, accordion pleats tend to be in ultra-feminine fabrics like chiffon and silk. Now that we're familiar with the trend, here are some styling tips. Try midi skirts. The most popular form of accordion pleats is midi skirts. These can be styled in a variety of ways. If you are more of a dress kind of girl, a pleated dress that is made of a pleated fabric from head to toe works well too. Another way to add flair to your look is with a pair of accordion pleated high waist pants that flow and the pleats add movement to your look. Remember to style such flowy pants with heels and you can pair the high waist with a glam solid crop top. So stock up on accordion pleats this party season. Chambre. By the book, the definition is a cloth with a white weft and a colored yarp, which means chambre is a cotton plain weave fabric made with a dyed wrap yarn and a white filling yarn. While it may look like denim, chambray is lighter and is woven differently. It has a softer texture than denim and is thinner in construction. To put things simply, chambray gives the appearance of denim but is lighter and softer making it the perfect choice of fabric for spring and summer months to wear in tops, jumpsuits and dresses. The predominant contemporary use of chambray is as a substitute for denim. Here are a few styling ideas for the fabric. Tip number one. Do a double denim look. Be it white, blue, khaki or any other bright colour, coloured jeans are always tricky to style. A simple no-feel way to style your coloured denim is to do a double denim look by pairing it with your chambre shirt or top with your statement jeans. Tip number 2. Wear in dresses and jumpsuits. While the denim fabric can get rather frumpy and stiff, chambre can be used for denim dresses, not just for fitted styles but even for flowy silhouettes such as drop waist and fit and flare. Tip number 3. Use as a light layer A chambray shirt or jacket is the perfect buddy for transitional weather as it gives the appearance of a sturdy denim jacket but is light enough for warm weather and thick enough for slight winds in the weather that moves from winter to summer. Now that you know what chambray is, stock it up in your closet now. Patchwork as the world is moving towards more sustainable trends, patchwork is gaining more and more popularity. Patchwork is defined as needlework or craft in which small pieces of cloth in different designs, colors or textures are stitched together. With a mix of colors, textures, patterns and fabrics, a patchwork outfit will undoubtedly be a head turner and make you the center of attention. Here are a few ways in which you can wear the trend. Tip number one, play with silhouettes and shapes. Patchwork outfits look best in free-flowing shapes, cuts and silhouettes. Since there's so much happening in the print and color, don't restrict the garment to a certain structure or shape. Tip number two, stick to a dual tone look. If you're new to the patchwork trend, start small. Stick to two tones or patterns or prints in one outfit. It'll be much easier to work with. Tip number three, go for coordinate sets. While patchwork can be styled with basics as a go-to look, make a statement and go for a head-to-toe patchwork look, either via a dress or a coordinate set. Since the essence of the trend is mismatch, the top and bottom matching will make it look more cohesive. So step out of your comfort zone and try this bold trend now. Paperback pants have extra fabric above the waistline ruffled and gathered mimicking the effect created when a paper bag is concealed and there is excess paper ruffling out at the top. The style of waistline can be seen not just in trousers but in skirts and shorts as well. This style of waistline is reserved for high waist only. There are a few ways in which you can style the paper bag waist. Tip number 1. Since most paperback waistline bottoms are loose and baggy, try and balance the silhouettes by pairing it with something fitted and cropped up top. If your top is not fitted, always tuck it into the bottom, accentuating the ruffle detail on the waistline. Tip number 2. Cinch with a skinny belt Most paperback waist bottoms come with a matching belt. However, if you're looking to switch things up, always wear the bottom with a skinny belt allowing space for the ruffles. 
Tip number three, have fun with colors and print. Since the gathered waistline adds flamboyance to the look, you can pick your bottom in a fun color or print. The best part about paperback waist is that it flatters all body types. So go have fun with your look. Monochrome. The photography terminology means an image that is composed of one color. It means the same in passion terms, an outfit made of one color, hue, or belonging to the same color family from head to toe. While it may sound rather dull for your colorful personality, a monochrome outfit is flattering, looks classy and put together, and of course is perfect for the days when you don't know what to wear. Even though the style seems easy to nail, there are some things to keep in mind when trying the monochrome trend. So here goes. Tip number one, play with fabrics and cuts. Because you're only working with similar tones, you have more freedom when it comes to mixing and matching fabrics and cuts, and also adding a touch of color with accessories or jewelry. Tip number two, pick pop colors. Monochrome does not have to be boring. Pick the same color from head to toe, but go for pastels and neons in the summer and darker or deeper hues such as warm brown and burgundy for the winter months. Tip number three, play with prints. To add a more exciting element to your outfit, wear the monochrome in prints. If you're bold enough, you can also print crash and wear two utterly different patterns together, but of course in the same color. So go have fun with the same color head to toe. A boiler suit is a one-piece garment with full-length sleeves and legs like a jumpsuit, but usually less tight-fitting. Boiler suits are so-called because they were first worn by men maintaining coal-fired boilers. Minimum on effort and maximum on style, boiler suits have come back in style and they're here to stay. This trend has seen many developments over the year. From the basic cotton boiler suit to denim, bright prints, corduroy, suede and leather, there are various options available in the market today. Here are some tips on styling a boiler suit. Tip number one, go for neutral colors and fabrics. If you're dipping your toes into the trend, stick to hues such as beige, black and khaki or go for solid materials such as denim or leather. Tip number two, take the sexy route. If silhouette such as boiler suit is too masculine for you, then you can add a touch of sexiness and femininity to the look by wearing the zipper or buttons down along with a lacy bra or bralette on the inside. Or you could also add a turtleneck on the inside for the chillier months. Tip number three, never skimp on accessories. When it comes to styling, there's so much that can be done with a boiler suit. From statement earrings to a bucket hat and combat boots, you can dress the look up and dress it down as per your mood. So now that you know how to style a boiler suit, go have some fun with it. A baguette bag is a small narrow bag with a single handle formed in the shape that resembles a French baguette. A bag designed for women, the baguette bag was made famous in 1997 through iconic Sex and the City star Carrie Bradshaw. This small yet multi-purpose handbag can be used every day and styled in several ways. Here are some styling cues. Tip number one, go for bright hues. While most tend to stick to neutral shades when it comes to bags, so it matches everything, owing to its small size, a baguette can be just the right bag to infuse some color into your outfit. Tip number two, capture on to the early 2000s and late 90s charm in your look. By picking a vintage looking bag, you can capture on to the late 90s charm. Look for vintage elements such as fur snake skin, monogram bags and gold hardware for that vintage look. Tip number three, keep it casual. Since the baguette has a chic, elegant and classy reputation, Pair it with a laid-back and casual look to add an element of surprise to your outfit. A tiny bag paired with sneakers, crop top and mom jeans would make for a fresh styling idea. So add this 90s trend to your wardrobe now. Shackets A cozy yet laid-back layer that looks like a shirt at first glance but has the structure and building of a jacket. Shackets are mostly used as layers, hence serving the purpose of a jacket. This hybrid clothing item is the perfect layering piece for fall and winter. It comes in mostly wool blends and its trendier sister is a leather jacket. The wool blend and leather fabric makes it thicker than your basic shirt but lighter than a heavy coat. 
When the weather is slightly chilly, you can throw it over a cotton dress or a simple tee. And as the winter gets more grim, you can use this as a layer over chunky knits and turtlenecks. They look polished when used as a shirt button-up and give off an effortlessly cool undone vibe as a jacket. And the best part? They suit everyone, literally everyone. Now that you know what a shacket is, here are a few ways to style it. An essential styling tip for shackets to keep in mind is to play with textures. A popular way fashion girls are styling their wool shackets is with leather leggings. Alternatively, you could also style your leather shacket with denim and a bright crop top. Not just jeans and leggings, but shackets can be worn over shorts as well for a slightly warmer weather. And they can be worn buttoned up with a pair of trousers for a more polished and elegant look. I'm sure these tips have convinced you to grab a shacket for yourself this fall season. For more fashion tips, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.